Hello and welcome back to the Texas Fishing Force. Uh, if you're new here, I am Mike. And today uh, I want to talk about um, a few things. I got some packages in and today we're going to talk about external mics. Um, I picked up a few mics and some accessories uh, for my GoPro. Most of my recordings are done by GoPro, but these can be used on uh, cell phones and other cameras and things like that as well. Um, and I wanted to talk about those. So let's get into it. All right, so if you go back and you look at uh, some of the older videos that I've uh, done over the last month or so, um, you'll notice that I have two big issues with the audio. Um, one is the horrible wind sound, and two is the uh, distortion in voice. Um, and I'm getting those for two reasons. Um, now, the, the wind sound um, is really because of the onboard microphone on a GoPro. While GoPro makes excellent video and has awesome video quality, um, the audio and the microphone on it are just awful. So, because of that, I've needed to uh, upgrade my microphone. Um, so I picked up this, which is the, uh, the Rode microphone. Um, it comes like this. It comes with what they call a dead cat uh, to block that wind. And I've also, what I'm wearing right now, is the uh, lapel mic uh, that I got from Insignia. Um, so I'm going to go over both of those, um, and I'm going to go over what is you know what the problems are with the audio and why you need these and why these are really the way to go. Every time I go out uh, and I use my GoPros, I'll probably come back with somewhere around 60 to 80 videos uh, clips, and I'll go back through those in post production and I'll look at them. And a lot of those are just completely unusable. And I'll show you um, an example of those right now that, that I, I wasn't able to use at all. So here those are now. What's going on, guys? I'm Mike, and this is my buddy Matt. Hey, what's going on, guys? All right, now I apologize for that. I know that sounded absolutely awful. Um, but moving on, um, the next problem that I'm having is with the uh, audio distortion in voice. And the reason that I'm getting that is because in the past, before I've had external mics, I've used programs like Adobe Premiere to change the audio level. And there's ways that you can do that to reduce the wind noise and that background noise that you have by putting uh, high pass filters and things like that. And what that really does is it blocks out or, or it, it, it reduces or, or completely blocks um, uh, frequencies. And so I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm basically limiting uh, certain frequencies in sound. Um, and because of that, and because we're putting that high pass filter on, it's also blocking out some of my voice. It actually sounds like I'm talking inside of a cave or a tunnel or something like that. So the easier way to go about this is to get external mics like these. Um, <clears throat> now, I'll, uh, I'll post links to um, everything that I have here, but I wanted to show you the difference and I, I've, I've gone out and I've tested these uh, out in really, really bad conditions uh, this, this week alone. You know, we had 19, 20 mile an hour winds and so it was perfect to test these out. Uh, this is the uh, Rode mic with the uh, dead cat is what they call it and this is supposed to reduce wind and i'm going to show you a video of um, a, a spot where i went out where I, I knew that there would be lots of wind and i talk with no external mic at all and then i switched to this and then i switched to my uh, lapel mic here and i'm gonna show you the difference uh in those all right so we're out here it is a really windy day today uh, i think we've got about 18 mile an hour winds something like that if you notice from the uh, flags that are I wanted to try and uh, kind of record um, without any mic at all and see exactly how much wind the GoPro is picking up. Uh, really, I just want to improve my sound quality. And then we're going to do this again here in a minute. And we're going to uh, put on the uh, road mic with the uh, Dead Cat. Um, this is it here. Uh, picked this up a few days ago. We're going to try this and then I'm going to try a uh, lapel clip mic to see what we can do. 
I, I'm just trying to test out the audio quality. Hopefully it's uh, what I'm looking for. And, uh, but yeah, good, solid, strong, windy day. I'll show you these uh, flags. They are going crazy still. Uh, hoping you can still hear all of this with this mic here. I'm actually holding it now. We didn't get too much distortion out of that, but tons and tons of uh, wind out here. So it's a good day to test everything out. All right, so uh, we're back at it. I have now put on this uh, lapel mic here, and, and I would assume um, that we're still gonna catch some of that wind noise, but we're gonna move it around and see what works best. Uh, I will say what I do like about this uh, is the uh, cord on this thing. It, it, I mean, it, it's like 25 feet long. Uh, which is really nice because I could clip it to somebody else or I could have somebody else hold the camera clip this to me if it's if it really does improve that sound quality um, that much um, now I've uh, I've seen people do this in a bunch of different ways and even people that have gone inside their clothing um, I don't really know we're gonna we're gonna try a few different ways see what works uh, see how that sound quality changes but uh, I'm hoping um, that we can get some good audio out of both of these new external mics and uh, see what works here. I'm just going to kind of put this inside here, see if you can still hear me at all. Uh, I'm hoping so. I would assume that when I uh, am out waiting or, or doing any of that, that I'll put this mic um, through my waders and things like that. Um, but, you know, it just kind of depends. Um, let's talk about the, the uh, Rode mic first. Now this is really a mid-quality mic. Um, it's, it's really nice. Um, it, uh, <clears throat> you know, it really does block out a lot of that wind. The sound quality will go up. Um, it's not very small though. You know, it's about the same size as the GoPro. Um, the good thing about this is that it is a powerless mic, which means that it doesn't need batteries. And that's, that's a huge plus. Unfortunately, this one I do. Um, the other problem is it comes with this mount here, and so you have to figure out a way to mount this so that you can use the, um, use the mounting system here to keep it facing you. This is a shotgun mic, so it's only going to cl collect sound that is in front of the mic. So if it's facing away from you, it's, it's gonna be very, very soft, um, and then that audio quality goes down. So. Um, this is something that you want pointed directly at you or directly at the subject that you're recording, depending on what you're doing. This, however, um, I really like because it, uh, it does collect sound, uh, collectively. Um, it doesn't block out wind quite like the, uh, road does. However, I can keep this on me. And another thing that I really like about this is that it has like a 25 foot cord. Um, so I can stand way far away from my camera and still get great audio quality. Um, or I can connect this to someone else if I'm recording someone else or if someone's recording me, I can, I can do that. Um, but it is going to collect some of that sound from, from um, around you. Um, so you're going to get some of that wind. The good thing is that if you put it on you like this and you can stand with the wind behind you, it's going to block out most of that wind anyway. So... Um, these two mics, uh, you've got to use them in different ways. This is something that I'm going to use if I'm going to be recording, you know, say somebody fishing or, or pulling something in. I can, you know, keep this directed uh, at them and I can get great sound of uh, things, you know, fish splashing. I can get great sound of people talking. Um, this is more something if I'm going to talk into the camera, I'm going to connect this to me. Um, they both have their uses and you know, you've got to figure out what works best for you. Mounting is a little bit different. Mounting is uh, a little harder for the road um, because this one I can just clip directly to me and it's going to pick up the audio, uh, which is fantastic. Um, but you've got to use what works for you. So they have their advantages. Now, one thing about this, this is a powered mic. Uh, this lapel mic is, so it actually takes a battery. And unfortunately, there is no indication that I can see um, as to when that it goes dead. So I could just be talking and it shut off. I don't know. Uh, haven't used it enough to figure that out yet. I looked inside the instructions and it didn't really um, give me any idea on how long this battery lasts. 
um, or if there's any indication at all when it when it dies. So a little worried about that, especially if I'm you know out there recording uh, something that I can only I only have one shot at. Um, if that's the case, I may just uh, try to use the road for for most of that and you know keep spare batteries on me. Uh, I will say. Um, any of these mics that you use you uh, for a GoPro anyway, you have to get the GoPro mic adapter. These mics will not work without it. So um, that's an extra expense. I know that um, these will work with cell phones and other cameras. If you have this uh, 3.5 millimeter adapter, uh, GoPros don't have that. All right, um, so um, I, uh, I hope this, this helps you out. I, um, you know, I know, I know a lot of people have, uh, looked into changing the audio quality, of, especially for GoPros. Um, and, and I, I actually j just talked to a few other YouTubers the other day that were saying the same thing that they needed to get that wind sound out of there. They needed to get higher quality audio. Well, this is the way to do it. I hope the video helps. Um, like always, please like, and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thank you.